music from the great music of the spheres. And because the fossil ancestor to the preacher, why no one ever knocked it. So, then we lowered it again, and we got a very strange fossil, the Smithsonian Institute, and I said, congratulations, it's a rare fossil, and you're the first people to use it to a living life form. Now, from philosophy, we're talking about Plato's ideal fourth form, jumping to space form. Now, Crystal is the award winner at this conference for his mathematics. His work was reprinted as important work of the 20th century by I Triple E Five Milestone Series, and then he won the um, biological award from the um, Hadron Society in 1990 for the discovery of new laws. New physics laws governing optimum biological growth and development through space time. Now the problem is that the original Greek science is nothing like what we've got at all. Nothing. And as you philosophize, you can develop other ideas from our successes. For example, we know now, over the last few years, that the phenoid bone is turning. And each time it changes shape, a new humanoid is formed from the fossil record. So instead of using seashells to get characteristic creatures, we can now get 200 million years of fossilized phenoid bone, put the music of the spheres program from them through the human into the future, and we now we get a rigorous, and rigorous means healthy biological growth and development, then from that we should be able to say how they got there look for this survival and that will be the new technology I think. So I'll leave it at that because you're all very trained scientists but we actually published in the world's leading journal and we have made a few more discoveries. Mostly by good luck I think. But thank you very much. Is that okay? The next presentation will be given by Professor Yes.